Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I've got some information guys. I've got all of the details for the Overwatch 2 beta which is going to be available in April. We've got an alpha coming out which is going to be for Overwatch League pros and select partners. We've got Sojin being playable. We've got a new ping system. We've got new like maps, push, loads of information. We're going to go over it in this video. It has been so long since we've got any Overwatch news. I'm literally exploding. My brain is just like gone. I'm going to put a link in the video description as well to the website you can go to to sign up for the beta. All right, then, let's do this. It's a developer update. It's the first one we've got for literally months. So let's do this. Give it me. Hello, heroes of Overwatch. The team has been making great progress on the development of Overwatch 2. Daily play tests and feedback have given us confidence that we're creating something you're going to love. At the same time, we want to get the game in your hands soon, which leads to why I'm here today. But before I get to that, I want to thank our players for your continued support. We recognize we haven't communicated well, haven't kept you up to date, and... <laughs> no shit! <laughs> honestly, we've let you down when it comes to delivering Overwatch content. We hear you, and we're committed to more continual updates on all things Overwatch 2. This starts with my update to you today. Based on your feedback, we've taken some time to rethink Overwatch 2 with the singular goal of ensuring it is a living game, serving our players. It is a living game. Is Overwatch 2 a live service game? <laughs> like Overwatch, well, should have been, hopefully with exciting content on a regular basis. And we are shifting our plan for Overwatch 2 to enable you to play it sooner. This starts with us decoupling the PvP features of the game from the PvE systems so we can bring you PvP sooner. This includes the new 5v5 team format, new heroes, new maps, okay. the new push game mode, significant hero updates and reworks, and many new gameplay features, including, for example, a new ping system. When you put it all together, this represents the most new content we have brought to our game since launch. Right, okay, we're gonna go back and just go over that section again, because he said quite a lot of things there, and this is, these are things we want to hear. This is, this is good. Significant hero updates and reworks bring you PvP sooner. Okay. This includes the new 5v5 team format, new okay, heroes, 5v5 new maps, Heroes, the new push game maps. mode, push. significant hero updates and reworks, and many new gameplay features, including, for example, a new ping system. When you put it all together, this represents the most new content we have brought to our game since long. Listen, I've, we haven't had content for years in Overwatch, so I'll just take anything at this point. I don't care. But honestly, the big news there is decoupling PvP from PvE. This is... So maybe this is like, in a, in a way, a kind of admission that PvE was holding back PvP. Because, well, just give us the PvP. We've, we've been arguing this for a long, long time. It almost feels like a relaunch of Overwatch, doesn't it, this? This is very interesting, this does. Because, like, the, the big question here is, are we now suddenly going to get all of the PvP content that we would have got anyway if they just kept updating Overwatch? <laughs> Launch. That's big, though. That Let is big. Let me take a moment to share how we got here. Okay, a how did you get A few years here? ago, we made the call to focus our team's development efforts almost entirely on Overwatch 2. And as development of the sequel stretched on, it meant that the live game received less focus. It meant... What? This? This? I really want to know what the hell happened here, because it was madness. We've been over this and we've done it to death, but it was complete madness to just stop supporting Overwatch. It was a massive game. It had tons of players. Loads of people were interested in the game. And then they just sort of went, now nah, we're going to make Overwatch 2. And then just went away for, well, four years. Well, three years, four years. Maybe they did go away for four years. I don't know. But from 2019, we just, the content was, that was it. It was the end, really. Oh my God. I don't remember. Well, don't forget that we had a lot of... Um, reconstituted or regurgitated, I suppose, um, seasonal events for years. I mean, we, we really only had unique events in the first and second year. That we were no longer... If you don't include the archives events. ...delivering on one of our core values. Core value. To support our game by okay. updating it and delivering content on a regular basis. Today... But at least they're admitting this. At least they're saying, look, we didn't deliver content, but we're going to sort this out. This change in approach enables us to deliver frequent PvP content to the live game with the goal of far exceeding Overwatch's previous rate of content release and making the live game the most vibrant and dynamic PvP experience. So it's 
key critical there, what he said, saying that we're going to exceed the content output that we had before. This is good news because, well, we, well, we didn't have any content output before, but we want to see more content. He's probably referring to the, you know, the first year of Overwatch when they had content. If they can make more content than that, I'm going to be happy. Anywhere. We're going to be happy. In that spirit, I'd like to share that we are beginning Overwatch 2 PvP testing this week with a closed alpha containing many of these PvP features as well as a new hero sojourn. The alpha will be run under NDA and be limited to Blizzard employees and key partners like Overwatch League pros as they get ready for the next season. I'm also ex Well, it's about time Overwatch League pros got access to the game, you know, because I mean, it starts in a, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so what the hell? <laughs> excited to announce that we will be opening the first closed PVP beta in late April. Okay, so April we can start beta. testing this content with more players. If you're interested in participating in this upcoming beta, please visit playoverwatch.com. Following that first beta test, we are planning additional public PvP beta testing later in the year, which will include new features, new maps, and yes, new heroes. I want to come back to how we started this conversation. Improving our- Hang on. So he says, <laughs> that's a, not a very good thing, of course, is it? But basically, so he, hang on, what did he say there? We're going to launch new heroes in new beta phases or different beta phases new throughout the year. New features, new maps, and yes, new heroes. I want to come back to how hang we on, started overwatch.com. Following that first beta test, we are planning additional public PvP beta testing later in the year, which will include new features, new maps, and yes, new heroes. Okay, so they're in beta phases. I okay. want to come back to how we started this conversation, improving our communication to all of you. We know you are eager for more information. As I stated earlier, Starting now, we will be communicating much more frequently about our plans. During and after each beta, we'll share updates about what we're learning, changes we're considering, and what we'll look to test next. We look forward- Hang on, so they're gonna communicate more, but he, he's kind of committed there to saying we'll communicate before and after each beta phase with what they've been testing and what they found out, which is good, but I just hope they, they just communicate more. Like, this is probably completely like, we're probably not going to get this, but it would be nice if we got weekly updates. Like, if they could give us updates, what's going on with the development of the game, features they're working on and stuff like that, or if we even got a roadmap, that'd be amazing. But just give us just give us something, because we've literally, like, I look at my YouTube channel, and, and in four months, I've uploaded something like 20 videos. Like, I, I'd upload that in, like, a week, you know, before, when there was stuff to talk about. I'm like, oh, it's been blowing my mind. Oh, my God. This is good, though. Forward to working with you to make Overwatch 2 amazing together. This is going to be an exciting year for Overwatch. And we're looking forward to taking this journey together. Thank you for your dedication, your passion, and your patience. I can't wait to see players in our alpha and future beta builds. And of course, the entire team can't wait to get Overwatch 2 in your hands. Thanks for watching. Be good to each other. And we'll talk soon. Okay, all right. So. That's Aaron Keller's second dev update. Now, it's obviously not the same as the, the dev updates we used to get in the past with Jeff, which were more, I don't know, they, they felt more <laughs> youtube -y. They felt more like sort of less produced. That looked like it was quite produced. I mean, <laughs> the whole zooming in on the face and whatever, it's, it's a different style, I guess. It was definitely better than his previous effort. That was not that good. Um, but he didn't really have much to talk about. And now this time he did. So there's a lot to take away from this. So we're getting... The alpha is going to be playable this week for Overwatch League pro pros and select partners. Um, we're also getting a beta sign-up we can sign up to right now. That's going to be for some time in April. We're going to get Sojin in the beta. There's a new ping system. There's going to be new maps. Push is going to be in it. It's 5v5, obviously. And then throughout the year, there'll be beta phases, which will contain uh, new heroes, new maps, new modes, and stuff like that, which is going to be really cool, uh, based off what Aaron just said. And then, well... It's news, isn't it? It's good. It's good. Like I, I, I'm just like so cynical with Overwatch right now because we've we've all heard the stuff where it's like we hear you, we get you, we know what's coming. Or, well, we don't know what's coming, but we hear you, we get you, all that crap. Like we've heard that for years. Or we've got more to tell you next week, and that turns into three months later they tell us something which is not even really that important. I hope that changes. I really, really do. I think for me the key thing was the the communication aspect. If they're going to communicate with us more, that's going to be. Well, it, it's going to make us feel more involved in the development of the game, right? Because at the moment, Overwatch just feels like there's nothing going on. But this is good. This is 
hopefully the start of well good things to come hey guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below though quite a bit of information in that as i said there is a link in the video description below which will take you straight through to the beta phase where you can sign up or the beta page where you can sign up and uh yeah all right guys thanks for watching finally overwatch content finally something to talk about cannot believe it and i'll catch you lovely lot on the next one toodaloo